Hi everyone, it's Raven with loveforstamps.blogspot.com and I wanted to do a video showing you how I used my e-craft to cut some vinyl from my daughter's room um, just to decorate it. We've been seeing a lot of stuff at the store um, that's really cute and she keeps saying, I want this, I want this, and I keep telling my husband, I can make that, but I just hadn't made it yet. So um, I'm just going to show you what has worked for me. Now, I have my blade set at 1 and um, I don't have any tabs on at all or any um, like the pressure settings everything is is at zero as far as tab settings the pressure setting is at one so it's the lowest it could possibly go and I had to cut it twice to where I could get it to cut right because the first time I had it a little bit too high um, now like I said this is a brand new blade I just changed my blade I want to say yesterday um, so that probably could affect how how much you need to adjust the pressure settings. So just something to keep in mind. I'm using this vinyl. I wanted to use like the cheapest vinyl that I could find. So because I didn't know how I was going to cut, to be honest. So this is just silhouette, the silhouette vinyl. So it's like uh, eight by tons, um, which is really really good because you could actually put anything on the e-craft rollers, and I could cut you know a whole like her name banner and different things like that. So I'm probably going to do that. I was really, really excited to get this. Um, and it wasn't super cheap. It was, I want to say, like $8.99, and then I used a 40 off coupon at Joanne. So I put it on my mat um, that I had showed you guys earlier. And this was the first cut, and you can see it cut pretty well towards the end right here because it's a little bit more intricate. It stopped, um, and it, it tore it a little bit. You can see I even cut up right here I cut that off so all of the rest cut really well except for that piece and I think the reason that it did that was because of the fact that um, I had my blade set so high so I went ahead and, and did it again and you can see it right there can you see it still on there and let me show you what I'm gonna do with that I have my piece right here and this is just contact paper that you can buy at any store um, Walmart Target Kmart um, Home Depot, Lowe's, it's just contact paper, you know, like you use to line your um, kitchen cabinets and stuff, and you can find this on sale, sorry, I'm putting stuff away as I'm talking. Okay, so you have your contact paper, and this is the back tack, and then here is your white contact paper. You can actually use this on your walls, too, if you want, if you don't care if it peels your paint a little bit. Okay, so then I'm going to remove the contact paper from its slip, if I can do that. Just give me a second. Okay. So bending it just a little bit at the corner kind of helps. And then it separates. I'm just going to separate it. And then this is like the ghetto part here, but I'm okay with that. So you take your... So you're going to take your vinyl, okay, and take your arm. Or not your vinyl, your contact paper. I'm sorry, guys. And you just rub it on your arm. The reason I'm doing this is it gets a little bit of the stick off of the contact paper. You can also um, do it like on your pants or something if you want. I do it twice, sometimes three times. It depends on how sticky it is because I do not want it super sticky. Okay, so you're going to do that and then put that to the side. And then what I'm going to do, get a little box here. There are these different, um, these are Seagull, C my sister bought me these a while back, and I use the pointed tip one, the one that's a little bit more pointy, and I'm going to go ahead and take out the center really softly, cause, and the reason being is because you can still use that center piece. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to take that out real gently. And this is the centerpiece. Isn't it cool? Okay, and I think if you guys can see this right here, I have my e-craft. Do you see it? My e-craft's on my desk because I use it every second, pretty much. I'm just going to, I'm not going to use this in her room. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and place it on my e-craft because I think it's pretty. And I think it's kind of centered. I'm not positive, but... 
I'll take a picture and show you guys in a while. Actually, I could probably show you later. You guys see it? Doesn't that look pretty? Okay, so that is the center that I'm not going to be using in her room. And then I still have, if you can see on my map, I still have the outside. Okay, so... Hmm, i got to figure out how I want to do this. So I'm just going to take this off, and I think I'm just going to cut. I feel like I'm wasting vinyl, but it'll be okay. Okay, so I'm just going to cut, if you can see, between the two, making sure not to cut my image. And then I'm going to take this part off. And this is the, the base part. I have to be really careful because right here towards the end, um, it's really intricate. So, you just lift it off softly like that and hope you don't ruin it. Just kidding. Okay, let's see. Oh, there we go. Yay! Okay, I did it. Alright, now here is my vinyl piece. Okay, so if I wasn't going to use this or if I was going to send this to somebody or what I have you, I could just leave it on this sheet. But since I am going to use it, I'm going to go over here. Put that to the side. Get my piece that I stuck onto my arm that's not as super sticky anymore. And I'm going to just place it on top. And you can actually get clear contact paper. I just had white at the house. And so that's why I got the white. Because I didn't want to have to go out and buy some other ones. So what you do is you just push down onto um, your vinyl with your contact paper. Okay. And then at an angle, you're just going to lift up, and your whole piece should come off. So there it is. Now it's on the contact paper, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to her room, and I'm going to stick this on the wall, and then I'll take a picture and show you. Okay, so I had posted this a few days ago on Facebook that my husband redid my old dresser that I had when I was a little girl for my daughter, for her bedroom. And this is her carpet. You see it? Um, or her rug, I should say. So that's kind of what inspired these hearts. Um, and this is what they look like up close. They're vinyl, cut by the e-craft. This is the outside of the cut. And then this is the inside of the cut, and it's bubbling. I haven't pushed it down. I just wanted to show you guys real quick, so I'm doing a quick video. But um, I had made, oh, it's because of the... We didn't send down the dresser. Our bad. Okay, so this is the inside of this. See if it's right in here. And then this is another one. So her whole thing looks like this. Isn't it cool? Um, I was thinking about making a really big one of these and then putting um, Zoe across it in the middle or something and then hanging that up on her wall because I love this one. Um, and I didn't use the outside shadow layer of this cut because it's the vinyl and I didn't really want to. But you can. You most definitely can, especially when you're doing stuff with vinyl. Uh, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you have any questions about cutting vinyl with your e-craft or if you have any questions about SV SVGs, don't hesitate to, uh, to ask. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.